Yes, we're playing through that game. The one that everybody and his uncle has uh, played through. The one that has been LP'd to death on YouTube. Seriously, you can't walk two feet without some idiot mentioning this game and how he's done a let's play of it. But trust me, I actually have some unique things to say. I trust that you'll watch this because I actually will mention some new things and uh, I'll be mentioning some things that a lot of people are not. My intent is to be as informative and also as uh, funny as possible because uh, well, I'll be mentioning a lot of things, and info cards are back. More on that later. Warning, X is the first of a new generation of robots which contain an innovative new feature. The ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. However, this ability could be very dangerous. If X were to break the first law of robotics, a robot must never harm a human being. The results would be disastrous, and I fear that no force on Earth could stop him. Approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm his reliability. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day. Nor do I have anyone to carry on my work, therefore I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which will test his internal systems until his reliability has been confirmed. Please do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great risks as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for the best. September 18th, 20XX Thomas Light. So that's right, we're tackling the first Mega Man X game. And yes, first, because I'm actually going to tackle the entire series. Uh, not all at once. Uh, before we start, by the way, I'd suggest going into the options menu to change the controls, which uh, may look a little awkward that I'm setting both the shot and uh, dash buttons to the triggers, but... Trust me, that does make it more comfortable, at least for me. Uh, because uh, we're going to be using both quite a bit. But uh, I digress. So, basically the story of this series is that... Uh, it, well, it's a continuation of the classic series. Long, long after Thomas Light is dead. Basically, 100 years has passed uh, since uh, the creation of that message, and uh, as the info on the login screen shows, it was Dr. Kane who uncovered Mega Man, and he used uh, Mega Man's design to create uh, Reploids. He based them off of Mega Man X, uh, and uh, his uh, design. And you may think, well, Dr. Kane is going to be the next uh, Dr. Light, but no, actually, he's not. In fact, he only shows up in person in, like, two games, not counting this one. So, uh, I should actually talk about the intro stage. It's uh, cool, it has a lot of cars, and it's uh, iconic, and uh, I don't actually care for it. Anyway, if you were actually introduced uh, to wall jumping, this is an awesome new feature. Now you can actually propel yourself off a wall, and this is great for two reasons. One, it lets you save yourself from a bottomless pit, essentially making knockback not an issue at all, and two, it allows you to actually use your agility as a weapon in conjunction with an ability that we'll get later on. I mean, I kind of spoiled it already, it's the dash, but you don't get the dash from the start. I'll talk more about that later, but uh, anyway, the intro stage is iconic and all, but I don't really care for it. It's uh, alright, and I know that may get a lot of people's goats, but to be honest, I just think it kind of drags, because, you know, 
it says so long and it, it does teach you the important concepts, but you know, I much prefer the intro stage effects too because it does this in a much shorter frame. The intro stage effects too is much better because it, it doesn't drag. It's, it's a game in Japan, by the way. It, is uh, known as Rockman X, of course, uh, since the series is known as a Rockman in Japan. The series, however, has not got any subtitles for them in the Japanese version, so I'm not going to uh, be talking about the Japanese subtitles for each of the games because, well, they're non-existent, unlike the classic series. No one can resist a Boba Fett joke. And so to defeat this guy, you need to wear a sweater, do a handstand, do 50 push-ups beforehand, also eat a snack bar, preferably chocolate, and also you'll want to tear off your arm and graft it onto someone else so that you can say, but I, I live on through this arm. In other words, you just can't win. You worthless piece of scrap metal! Did you think you could defeat me? So, anyway, the story to this game is that uh, there are Reploids, that's the name for what uh, Mega Man X is, and the new generation of robots that he spawned are, they're causing crimes. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached your full power yet. If you use all the abilities you are designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. So, these robots that are causing crimes are called Mavericks. They're led by Sigma, these ones specifically, so uh, here we are at the stage select screen. We can select three different options, we can see where they are, we can uh, see what their stage looks like, and we can see some specifications. So we have Chill Penguin, Launch Octopus, Armored Armadillo, Storm Eagle, Spark Mandrill, Sting Chameleon, Boomer Kowanger, and Flame Mammoth. So, I know my choice isn't particularly original, but I'm just going to start with the Chill Penguin first. Anyway, the Mavericks uh, are pursued by a group of uh, people that uh, are known as the Maverick Hunters. In Japan, they're known as the Irregular Hunters, they're, they're not, like, irregular or anything, like... The thing is, they hunt Irregulars, which are what Mavericks are called in the Japanese versions of the game. Which explains a translation error that occurs in Mega Man X4, I'll talk more about that when I actually get to Mega Man X4. You are a Mega Man X, and uh, he's a part of uh, the uh, Maverick Hunters. Sigma, on the other hand, was actually a creation of Dr. Kane, so, and uh, he's the leader of uh, the Mavericks. However, he used to be the leader of uh, the Maverick Hunters, because he used to actually be a good guy. And, uh, that red Reploid back there, his name is Zero, and he's also a Maverick Hunter. Chill Penguin's stage, by the way, is one that I do enjoy. It's uh, iconic and just a lot of fun to uh, go through. So you've come. X, 
I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hoped the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. And now we've come to the real reason that uh, I've tackled Chill Penguin first. The real reason most people do. It's uh, because his stage has uh, the dash upgrade. And uh, this really improves the pace of the game. And once again, it allows you to use your agility as a weapon. And that is really cool. If you know me, you know that I'm all about agility over attack and uh, defense, so I just love to uh, be agile and whatnot. The music, by the way, is epic as well. And also I feel I should explain something about the info cards. So info cards are back, but they work a, di a bit differently because I've decided to actually put them before you enter the boss chamber itself. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, future games will introduce dialogue with uh, Mavericks, and so uh, to keep things consistent, I figured I may as well put the info cards in the hallway themselves. And also, they include different things. In this game's case, I've included the height and weight of them, but for future games I won't include that because future games don't include that information. However, I will be including things like their stage because that's pretty much always included as some form of information in each of the games. And also the Japanese names for these guys. Now, you may think, like, why would you do that? And the reason is that the Japanese names are often vastly different from the English names. And, like, as for Chill Penguin's Japanese name, you may think that that's a typo on my end, but no, his name really is Icy Pengigo. What is a Pengigo? No, seriously, I looked it up and everything, and all I found was this ass. Oh no! Sometimes uh, their Japanese names are very similar or even identical to their English names. Sometimes they're vastly different, like in the case of Burning Now Mander. And for that, we get the Shotgun Ice, which is a stupid name, so I'll just call it the Ice of Shotgun. And in case anyone's wondering where the long descriptions come from in the info cards, that's from the Mega Man X Legacy Collections. And in the next episode, we'll tackle Storm Eagle, Flame Mammoth, Boomer Coanger, and Sting Chameleon. So see y'all then, this is the Mississippi King signing out.